Well, hello and welcome. This is the, uh, the weekly strategy session and also termed uh, endless quality leads. How many love the sound of that? Having an endless supply of quality people to talk with. So if that resonates with you and you see it as a fundamental core part of what we do every day, great. If you don't see it as a fundamental core part of what we do every day, let's visit <laughs> our visit with somebody who can steer you in the right direction. So um, this is the core concept um, of, of what we do every day in our business. And hopefully we've all heard the, uh, the basics, use, share, follow up and train. You know, I said that so many times, it just kind of just flows. And that is the basics. We use the products, we share about the story, we share about our products and business, and we follow up, build rapport, build relationships, and then we train people to do the same thing. It's our business is a simple business. Often enough, there are all kinds of ways to overcomplicate our business. And we get caught up in some of the things that are getting ready to get ready. So this morning, uh, these sessions are within a tee up different strategies to help us be productive. And, and none of these strategies are black and, you know, what's the word? At the end of the day, are there many different ways and, and means where we find our people, our customers and our builders, okay? And all of us will have our, a year from now, five years from now, once we're having, you know, we have our dream business, we have our three to five core powerful teams just changing lives in Zalevo. And that is the end focus. I want to clarify those three to five teams is where the uh, full-time income occurs with Zalevo. So um, at the end of the day, we'll look back and say, oh yeah, there was two or three strategies or ways and means where I found most of my people. So just want to remind us of that. All right. So let me get, let me get to it this morning. So this morning, the, the strategy is called clam as in the, uh, the yummy tasting clams that we can uh, steam or are edible. C-L-A-M, if you wanna write that down, it's an acronym. And uh, CLAM stands for connect, like, add, and message. Let me say that slower. Uh, connect is the C, L stands for like, A stands for add, M stands for message. And, and again, there's different ways of training on this. I'm just giving you one example from, I, I do want to acknowledge one of my mentors, his name is Simon Chan. Simon Chan built up a couple of very large organizations and he just fell in love with the training concept. Simon is now a full-time trainer in our industry, not, a fit, not building a team per se, he's just training. And he's a faith-based man. He's one of my good friends as well. So Simon Chan, if you want to look him up too, he has great basic training. All right, so let's... Um, I'm gonna share my screen and then we will cover some of the basics here. And I'll give you some examples as well as we walk through it. Let me just increase the size of my fonts one more size here. There we go. Okay, let me know via audio if the uh, font size is big enough. Enough, yes. I can, I can see it on my phone. Okay, okay fair enough. So uh, let me just kind of tee it up and then we'll show some examples and then uh, mastermind each step of the way. Uh, it's approaching our new connections in a very systematic way. Again, this is one strategy that doesn't cost you anything as far as it just demands it's more sweat equity oriented. Um, on any platform where we have the ability to search and locate uh, groups, niche, niche groups, pretty much all the platforms have something like that, you know, from LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, etc. cetera. Um, why is this a strategy to consider and look at that works? It does give us a very productive time block, meaning when we commit to this strategy and let's say we commit to even just say five people that we clam, um, which we could do in like a 10 minute time block, it does give us a fun, creative, um, if, you, if you want to call it new connect or prospecting time block that can pay big dividends if we decide to commit to it and, and build those relationships. Um, 
a little bit about the mindset behind this. Uh, be picky. Be. It's one of those places where you can be. Did I, did I spell it right? Persnickety. <laughs> However, that's spelled. Uh, you want to be persnickety with this strategy, and and realize that this type of strategy that we're going to just summarize this morning is more of a trust and relationship building process, which pretty much all of them are. Uh, with, with few exceptions. Okay, so CLAM, as we talked about, and again, this is just one way to approach this type of strategy that we're talking about. So again, uh, connect, like, add, and message. So um, if, if, if after seeing this strategy and you decide to take it on, like anything else, if you play with it for a couple of days and <laughs> kind of flounder around and and you aren't connecting with the right people well then god bless you just realize that any strategy like this this is not theory uh, i've i've enrolled a number of people with this strategy and continue to uh, other individuals across the our industry do this strategy like clockwork so this is uh, again another proven uh strategy that works if we work it all right so um one one suggestion as you look at this consider saying hey for the next for the next week or the next month even i'm going to try on this strategy maybe block a 20 minute window and uh and, and try it on and and start making some connections um so this is a summary of it um we connect with people we within we see them in a niche group which i'm going to show you in just a moment we do want to be persnickety so we do want to qualify or disqualify them based on their profile pictures and content okay and then the ad stands for uh, a friend request on facebook or a connect request on linkedin or you know connect request on instagram whatever platform you're you're focusing on or more and then here's a big one when we're sending out initial messages and or emails to a cold or a new, I, I, I prefer the word new uh, connection. Think about this. That person is asking three questions. Who is this person? Why are you reaching out to me? And okay, what do you see me doing with you potentially? So they're asking, and we need to ask ourselves as well, who are we? Why are we reaching out? And what would we invite them or like them to do next? And an example is, hey, Sarah, or hey, Heidi, hey, Kara, I saw you were also part of the personal growth group. Say, my wife and I are mission-based online entrepreneurs based here in Texas, would enjoy networking, comparing goals, and see if there are some ways to collaborate. How long have you been part of the group? Or it could be as simple as, let me uh, change this up a little bit. Okay, another example. And I'll share these notes in the, in the group as well. Hey, Sarah. All right. My wife and I. My wife and I love personal growth, whatever the subject of the group is, especially just the way I communicate, would enjoy networking. All right. And you could keep it as simple as you want. Possibly collaborating. How long have you been on a personal growth journey? <laughs> uh, 
how long have you been playing golf if it's a golf group how long have you been uh, how old are your kiddos if it's a mommy group so uh, let me stop right here before we show some examples of what this looks like let me uh let's go back to the group here and before we show some real life ways to i'm going to show you three or four examples before we go there i'd love to get some comments you, you saw me just lay it out simply straightforward love to get some comments about those of you who have actually connected with some great people like this way and actually either in a day or a year or 10 years brought them on board i'd love to get a couple of comments or shares around this strategy or i can volunteer you so um how i'm part of how i'm doing it of course i'm doing the belated birthdays okay uh, and that's where because the ones that respond to the the belated birthday then i send them back and i look at their profile and just to see if we have anything in common but then i invite them to a virtual meet and greet and my calendar is filling up with people that hey let's chat and i've gotten several people several of my in fact my last vip came from that so are you doing that on LinkedIn? I'm doing that on LinkedIn and and on Facebook. I find I'm finding though that LinkedIn is more productive. They're more open to doing virtual meet and greets mm -hmm. uh, yeah. because it's more it's a professional type of. And right now, I've been kind of targeting um, people that are already in some kind of wellness space, but not having the, but they don't have products. You know, like their health coaches that, ooh, this would be great because they're coaching plus have a product that they can offer. So. I, I too do the uh, belated birthdays. I, I do it a little bit different than the book because I do it for free. But could you explain that for others who don't know what that is? Oh, yeah, the and, yeah. but with your permission, how about we cover the, uh, let's cover, let's do a whole session on, on the birthday strategy next week. If you're with your permission, and I'll Perfect. grab Barb, I'll, I'll grab Barb because I've done many of those too. And just like yeah. Barb, have enrolled people through the birthday strategy. So, Barb, are you open to joining me and getting together some notes around that? Oh, sure, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> so, so Scott, sit tight, man. So we will cover the uh, the birthday strategy next week, and that is a fun strategy, especially when you do when you set yourself apart. Meaning, one thing you don't want to do, ideally is you're using as a strategy is to send a birthday greeting on the birthday. That's something you do not want to do if you're using it as a strategy. Meaning, as Barb said, you want to, you want to be an early bird or a late bird to stand out. And I'll also share with you a couple of ways to really stand out. But the, one of the people that I'm, I love the most, every single birthday, he sends me a personal video. And, uh, and I go to him all the time for, for business or whatever it is because of that role. He took the time to do that. Wow. That's, so that's anyway, so, yeah, yeah. It's just some powerful ways to do that. So, so back to the question on this particular strategy, how many of you have leveraged uh, groups, niche, niche groups? Go ahead, Kara and Heidi. Well, I haven't brought, 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 I haven't brought anyone in yet. But I sure am having fun with, like I was sharing on our glow call last week, I'm in a zinnia group. And so I get to share pictures of my zinnias with people. I mean, just so much fun. So um, I think that when it's an interest group that is on the side and just you get to share a little bit different about yourself. For me, the way I connect best is indirectly and then kind of find my people through that. I know we all have our different style, mm -hmm. um, but that's been really fun. So so I cannot claim success of VIPs, um, but I'm in it, you know, the long haul, the long game, and just kind of strategically and authentically placing myself in places where people can know, like, and trust me. And when the time comes, um, you know, pull the trigger to work with me. Yeah, oh, I love that. And you're so you're enjoying it and you're learning and growing and sharing. What's what are zinnias about? Is it a flower? Oh, um, yeah, they're flowers. They're an annual. Okay. Oh, they're yes. so pretty, super colorful. And I'll share yeah. a picture in the in the in our group. <laughs> okay. Yeah, fair enough. So good stuff. So Kara, you're in 
the, the cool part is you're enjoying it and you're building relationships. People have a similar interest. Love that. Thank you. Thank you. Miss Heidi. Yeah. Yeah, kind of just the same. I don't, um, I'm not as involved in the groups. I, I belong to one that's like toddler moms over 40 and it, sadly enough, it's one of the most depressing groups um, that I'm a part of. So I, I don't like to even get in there. <laughs> There's so much help needed there that I could spend all day, every day. Um, but you know, I, I do need, and I, I love that on the corporate call. I mean, it was probably a couple months ago where it was like narrowing your focus, you know, like, what are you passionate about and finding groups, you know, that are, are consistent or in line with that. And that just kind of opened the floodgates, like the flowers. I mean, that's amazing. Or, um, you know, like my daughter's skin condition, you know, and there's, there's groups for that. I belong to, um, you know, ADD group groups or parents of, you know, eight, whatever children with ADD. Um, you know, so I think it's just, I haven't had a ton of success in, I think maybe a couple like friend requests have come from them. Um, which I think is, you know, that's, that's the point, right. Is to just nurture and connect and, um, you know, then they're seeing what you're posting and what you're about and, you know, eventually the time will come where they're like, Hey, what the heck do you do? <laughs> okay. You know, so. no, fair enough. So thanks, Heidi and Kara. I, can I share, and we can all share as well. How about some things that would make your time with these groups, you know, many times more productive? Can, can we share some things to look for and, and really be more specific and about how we approach this? Would that be okay? Just as we kind of go over a few things. Um, on the, let me go back to my share here. Um, on the, let me go back to my notes. One second. Okay. So I'm going to say, I'm going to label this. Keys to being. Okay, from the group side of things, from the group side of thing, is the group up to at least five plus posts per day? Somewhere in there. So long story short, is it an active group? Is this a subject? where we know leaders have come from. Meaning, do you know leaders in our industry and our company who, who had toddlers at home, moms? Of course, okay. You know, do we have, you know, ask yourself the question, is this a subject where our ideal avatar, our ideal business partner is, is focused on, okay? So ask some of those questions as far as the type of group. And I, I actually, if you're using it, you know, it's one thing to have the, the passion groups. It's, again, this is just my perspective on this and, and experience. So it's one thing to have the passion groups. It's quite another to be in those groups where it's the qualities that you know our tribe and potential people have. Okay, have the qualities and the core values we're looking for. Okay, um, and as as far as once we find the people in the groups, we're looking for influencers. So, if you do cl the clam method, where you um, comment, like, add, and message. They have, you know, here's some criteria to consider. Okay. One is do they have a minimum of, I'm going to put 750 to 1,000 um, people in their network minimum. Look at their posts. Are they posting 
either daily or multiple times, at least daily, you know, or at least several times a week. Okay. And, and, and again, are they active in the group? And that's kind of a one criteria that may or may not apply, but okay. So, so let me just pause here with your permission and let me go up and um, show you a couple of examples here. So, all right. Okay, now let me go over to Facebook. Okay, so here's a group called Personal Growth and Development. So how many people are in the group? Come on, interact with me a little bit, guys. Yeah, I see it. Can you see it on my screen right there? 6,400. 6,000 yeah, 6, change. Yeah, 6,000. 6,500. Yeah. And then, so it's a good active group. And, has, and Robert, it has to be a public group, right? To be able to do this? Uh, that's correct. Or unless, unless you're in a private group, can you use the same strategy in a group that you're already in that's a private group? Yeah, heavens, yes. Yeah, you would just, uh, again, you build rapport in the relationship is the whole point. Right, that's that's what I thought. That's right. Yeah. Thank you. And, and pretty much, you're welcome, pretty much all the groups have in the group guidelines where you don't promote and you know spam and that kind of thing the point is with this type of strategy you build the relationship and you find what you have in common is the whole point okay and um and so what we're looking for here is is if you see a people if you see a people if you see people that you look at their profile and looks like she's possibly European because of the name. So I would just quickly move on here. So you want Americans, places where we're doing business. Okay. And what we're looking for here, if you want to save time, just go right to people in these groups. Okay. And, you know, the cool part, first of all, do you have people that are already you know, in your, in your friends list, most of these people are not, which is, is good. So what I'm looking for here is a, an image that looks professional. Yeah. And somebody I would like to uh, potentially see on my team. Okay. So um, let's just go here. All right. So I'm looking for just five people to connect with. So here's one right here, Dagmar. Let's see if Dagmar is in the States or in Europe. Okay. And a lot of these people have their settings where all you can do is, is message them, etc. Dagmar. It's pretty much that simple. And then based on whether she, I'm not going to add her a friend right now uh, because I don't know yet if she's in the States or if she's in Europe. So, uh, but I'm going to do this um, at least five times with the group. And my ideal avatar is a is a Lenmar Community Schools. I love teachers here. So I'm look at this picture, beautiful smiling faces. This is an ideal um, image or pics. She loves dogs, which is an instant connection there. Okay, you can message her, Haley. And with this one, because I already see with her pictures, I'm gonna also do the, uh, the M on clam. Hello, Haley. Would enjoy collaborating. And then I'm going to put PS. Uh, 
banner pick. Just something fun. And so that's to Haley and I'm gonna send the message. And because I really connect with her picture and especially the profile picture, et cetera, I'm gonna also send her a friend request. All right, let me X out of there. So that's two so far. And what I'm looking for, in case you're wondering, is when I, when I hover over the name, you know, I'm looking at their profession and uh, you see she's in Australia. So although she's a, a great profession and a great picture there, uh, we're not yet in Australia. So again, I want to be laser focused here. So um, Haida, yeah, I thought she was European. So this group is so big. There's a lot of individuals from all over the planet. So it may not may not be the ideal networking group, but it may be. So um, just um, click on. And every time you open link in new window, otherwise you'll have to go back and find the group every single time. Hope you caught that. Okay. I, I'm gonna just stop. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna send her a message. Remember, persnickety, uh, not the ideal picture of health. I like the smiley faces, but again, I'm, I have a certain energy in mind and for people that I'm looking to connect with. See this smiley face? And look what she does. Uh, Q Sciences, she's, yeah, so she's, uh, you can tell a lot by their profile picture. It's, it's clear, professional. She, she's obviously a mom. I don't see, she may just have one daughter. Um, definitely wanna send her a message. And what happens when people get these messages from us, what do they do? They do the same thing I'm doing right now. They immediately pop over to my profile and they make a decision whether to respond or not. I'm not gonna send her a friend request right now yet until I hear back from her if I do hear back from her. And if you're not getting as much engagement, you might wanna be a little more, uh, I guess for lack of a better word, smarter about who you're sending the message to. Heal, declutter, live in harmony. Uh, yeah, she would probably be an eight on the scale for me, but. Um, that's a business page as well. So I'm not gonna message a business page. So hopefully you're getting the point here. So I wanna do this, you know, five times. And then once people are, and a lot of these people are very new to the group. So she just followed the group about a week ago. She's from London, Joanne, uh, she's a life coach. Life coaches make great networkers. She's in Austria. So this is a, a group that I was just demonstrating for this call. And this lady is an Airbnb coach uh, or Airbnb host, sorry. She's an ideal prospect. Anybody who has an Airbnb is open to typically entrepreneurial activities in most cases. That's why they have an Airbnb. And so I'm gonna message Michelle. So Robert, do you pick like a, would you suggest picking a different group every day than if you're doing five reach outs in five days? No, I would suggest um, sticking with one group for a week or two and for, before you make a decision whether it's a productive group or not. Uh, but again, everybody has their different, you know, philosophy on that. How do you keep track of where, who you, of where, like in the group, is there a way to keep track of where you've already sent to? 
Yeah, one way to do that, it's a good question, is to look here. And, and typically, if you'll look at this, when I pull up people here, it's actually pulling them up in the, in the time sequence that they join the group. Um, a lot of these people, three hours ago, seven hours ago, 10 hours ago. So there's part of your answer. And you see, these are all in chronological order of when they join the page, Barb. So all I have to do to answer that question is just to make a note of, in, of where I stopped at and say that the last one I just sent, let's see, was about a week into it looks like. So all I have to do is tell myself, make some notes and say, okay, start with people that join the group at least a week or longer. So, so again, there's so many ways that we could talk about this and, and dialogue about it. Um, it. Again, it's it's one strategy. I just wanted to tee it up for us to get your brain thinking, to be honest. Uh, that That's just an introduction to a strategy that does work if you're smart about it and, and treat it as a business strategy where you're, again, there are the, the passion groups like Xenia's or Goff for me or whatever. Is that my ideal group to be finding my ideal leaders in? Maybe not. So my point is that ask yourself the question, what does my, my future team leaders, what do they read? What do they study? What do they focus on? Where do they show up? Those are the questions to ask. And then if you're gonna do a strategy like this, just be darn smart about it. And if you have any kind of any kind of question in your mind, whether should I even message this person or this isn't the I stop, move on. And that one group alone, there were six thousand people in there. And you see about every 40 per about every 40 people in the group that I send a message to. That's just me being, I know exactly the energy and the vibe I'm looking for. Small, clean picture. I summarize the profession. I have certain professions in mind that I know are more conducive to, to talking business. And then just be smart about it. And if you want dialogue, there's not a, let me end with this. I want to remind us all of a hidden resource that um, I just want to remind us about. And here it is right here. Bear with me, I wanna, I wanna show you this real quick. Take, take me one minute. Here it is. This is a hidden resource, I think, in, in Rapid Funnel. When you go to Rapid Funnel, come on, hope it'll work this morning. Maybe it will. All right. I apologize. I don't know why it's giving me grief these days, but let me just show it to you. When you go to Rapid Funnel and you go to, here it is. And when you're under resources, guys, okay, you, we all know this screen here. When you go to resources, go down to business scripts and prompts. And if you want some really fun verbiage, if you ever get stuck and what do I say to this person? What, what next question do I ask? Just go to these little scripts. Drew has and his team have did an awesome job in giving us simple questions to build that rapport with people. And the only, the only thing to avoid is getting in the, if you want to call it a trap, if you will, of, of, 10 days in or, or if you're, if you go more than five or six messages in without finding a bridge to actually invite them to look at, see if there's a, if they're open to looking at a business or a product, you might want to rethink how you're connecting. Again, this is just, I'm just giving you maybe some things to think about, not black and white. I'm just saying if, 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 in the, if using this strategy, if you find yourself in the, if you want to call it a rut or a loop of here it is four or five conversations later with a given person you've met this way and you have not yet invited them in a very organic way 
are, are structured your conversation in a way that they asked you, what do you do? Then rethink the process and whatever questions you want them to ask us, ask them. If you want them, if you want them to know what you do, I, I, I teach people how to create an income on, with an online business. End of story. If you want them to ask you what you do, ask them what they do. If you want to them to ask you about some health solutions, ask them about their health or fitness. Find a way to tie it into the conversation. Otherwise, 20 conversations later and six months later, the person doesn't have a clue what we do. So I'm just saying that's this is a business strategy. Uh, within the concept of organic relationship uh, building. So hope that makes sense, guys, this morning. Yeah. I, went, I went a little over time. Yes. I, I, I really like the strategy. Um, I was always under the impression that when I went into groups, I was supposed to look for uh, posts and then comment on the post and then take it from there. But yours is so much more straightforward. Well, well you can. I, I'm trying to, I'm attempting to, to save you time and to be more laser focused. Boom, boom, boom. 30 people down. There's one profession. Now, nope. 30 more down. Oh, I love the picture. Love the profession. Pull up their profile. I like the picture. They have enough followers. And again, remember every one of those you saw 2,000, 1,000, 3,000 followers? Nice. Only if they don't, if they have 500 or 800 or less followers, move on. The point is, <laughs> We are looking for influencers. Those are people already active on social media land. And that's where our business is built. We're, this is an online strategy. We're looking for people that know how to, how to talk online. Otherwise, there's a huge learning process. So hope that makes sense, Deb. Yeah, Can thank you. Can you share yeah. like, a couple of the professions that you do that you have found in your experience that are more open to this type of strategy. Yeah, as Kara said, the low hanging fruit. The low yeah. hanging fruit, thank you, Kara. Kara. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the ideal professions are, if you look at our industry, it's any, the A plus prospect, if they've ever had a championship life around sports or life, I, my, my, my quick answer is that are they, is there a reflection? Is there, is there, how can I say this? Does their life and their career choices reflect their pursuit of excellence? I can't think of a better way of saying it, okay? But also, are they open career choices? The career choices that have proven to be more challenging are the people in, in, in social work and the individuals, I, I, I hate to say that, but it's individuals that, work with that lower set of income individuals. And there are some social workers who have been on to be top achievers, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying it's, it's, it's the life coaches, it's the entrepreneurs, it's the teachers, it's the realtors, it's the, it's the mortgage brokers, it's the uh, people that have maybe been in sales in the past or people that they're a, the A++ prospects have been in some, they're either an affiliate or they have been or in a network marketing business and they're looking. So, and remember, of all the network marketers on the planet right now, in the hundreds of thousands, at any given time, in a two-year revolving process, you know, 95%, a high percent of them will be looking, um, will be in the open-minded game a couple times in that two-year process. So that's part of why the reason, Barb, is we connect and, and we stay in rapport and relationship. And if, it, and if we invite them to look at something and they aren't open to it, you know, stay in relationship because odds are even that person is in a network marketing business, even if it's nutrition, odds are they will be open in a year, six months or two years. So I hope that answers your question, Barb. Yeah. So it's people in search of excellence. And that's part of the also the criteria to, to determine the ideal group to do this in. Does it reflect people that are wanting more in life and pursuing excellence and, and, and growing themselves? We already have a qualified person to talk with if the group reflects that. Does that make sense? So hope this has been helpful. Do you find value here, guys, this morning? 
Okay, awesome. I will share the notes, obviously, under the, the video. I post these in the uh, our team channel, and then I put all these notes right there in the description on the uh, Team Z uh, Global Impact. Love and light. And next week, with Barb's help, we will cover the uh, have a fun time with the birthday strategy. So thank you all so much. Take care. Thanks, Robert.